So here's the story. Girl meets girl, girls fall in love, girls get banned. Welcome to the new Broadway musical, The Prom, the show about a high school student who wants to take her girlfriend to this annual rite of passage. But the school board in the Midwestern town they live in just is not going to allow it. So, four seasoned Broadway veterans looking for some positive press go there, along with their inflated egos, to try to save the day, resulting in one of the funniest, most entertaining, and at the same time, most poignant new shows on the Great White Way. Take a look. Joining me now are two of the lead actors from The Prom, Caitlin Kinnanen, who plays the teen Emma, and Brooks Ashmanskis, who portrays one of those vain actors. It's so nice to have you both here. Isn't that hard? You're expecting the audience to envision the notion of, can there really be vain and egotistical and self-centered exactly. actors? It's insane. Yes. <laughs> well, but you do well, well thank in you. predicting. It, we're talking, I gave the scenario here. Yes. Right. Uh, so we're talking about a, a situation where you're struggling with gay rights. But I, I've heard you say, Caitlin, especially, it's about so much more. Yeah, it really that. is. Um, I think the show does such a wonderful job of combining these two different worlds and bringing them both together and opening conversations. And they can't be more different worlds. <laughs> polar opposites. <laughs> right. But it brings up so many great topics and opens conversations with people because we approach it with humor and light instead of like really mm. getting to it. And therefore people come and see it and they say, oh, we can have conversations about this. This is fine. And the humor Let's talk about again, it. I, I know it's gonna be funny, but uh, both my wife and I said the same thing. It was one of those kind of laugh out loud, your stomach hurts funny. Good. Yeah. Didn't expect that much <laughs> humor to it. Yeah, it's, you know, it's quite a, it's a great group of people who yeah. really know what they're doing when it comes to musical comedy, yeah. and that's saying something, because um, it's hard. Oh, it is. You know, you know what's the line about you know comedy drama is like, yeah, drama <laughs> yeah. is easy, comedy is, is hard, and, and you, that's true. Yeah, and you you've both gotten great reviews oh. in this. Everybody's gotten great reviews. I mentioned to you, I saw one that said for you comparing you to Robert Morris, Zero mm -hmm. Mostel, wow, um, Nathan Lane, wow, uh, which is it's pretty heady that's in compliments. Quite a compliment, yeah. Let me ask you a, a little bit more serious question, mm -hmm. right? Because we talk about the issues mm -hmm. that, that are at the heart of all of this. And they're, the issues, you know, the best way to tell a story is through people. That, you know, so you can talk about the issues, but if you can put a, a face on it, right. yeah. you can make a person represent something, that's how the best way to tell those stories. I'm wondering about, look back to eight, 10 years ago when this was getting started. I did an interview recently with somebody and we were talking about the progress of gay rights in the U.S. Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And we mentioned that just the most recent Gallup poll in 2018 showed that now two-thirds of the American population, according to the poll, accept the notion of gay marriage. Wow. Ten years ago, it was completely the opposite. Yeah. Two-thirds said no, and only one-third said yes. So I'm wondering what you think about the timing. Does this timing, in some ways, that this being on the stage now, in 2019, does it allow this to be more of a success, given that the issues you're talking about our, uh, that our attitudes have changed? You know, I think, uh, I think it's a great question. I, I, I truly believe that it's obvious that it is a much simpler time for most people uh, to be who they are, love who they love. But just the other day, uh, someone showed me an article yeah. of the ex this exact same situation happening. I think it's Mississippi. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. a, a girl, you know, was banned from her prom. Yeah. So it, it's sadly, the show is still deeply timely. It happens you know. every year. Every year. And every year on prom season, are, there's one of those yeah, stories. There are kids across the country who, for some reason or other, whether it's because they want to wear a tux to their prom, whether they want mm -hmm. to take someone of the same sex, they either get banned, expelled, suspended, or the proms get canceled, mm -hmm. and it happens every year. And people see this and they assume like, oh, this was just one event that happened ages ago. No, it's every year. Yeah. Yeah. So I get it, you know, time and place are important for yes. it. Some of the other interesting stories within the stories, it, it's, it, you know, your character, Barry, is mm -hmm. this sort of this brash, over the top, you know, fabulously <laughs> egotistic, <laughs> yes. you know, actor. 
But you, you have, among so many other moments, is one of them where you talk about not having been to your own prom. Yes. And a great song um, about that. And it's interesting that I felt that the audience really plugged into that. Yeah. Do you guys get a sense when audiences sort of you know, plug into certain yeah. acts and certain songs? Absolutely. So what do you think it is for that? You know, I think, you know, I love that Caitlin and I are, are with you today because it's the, I think that the reason that p people are so able to at least get into Barry's story on that uh, line of things is because it's th via this young yeah. girl's heart and eyes and that she is actually the adult in the relationship. It's, an, it's a wonderful and, relationship that evolves yeah. between the two of you on stage. I think yeah. they plug in through her. Let me, let me ask you about the audience, mm -hmm. right? I was struck by a couple of things. The audience, the day when we were there, probably half of them was sort of my age, and the other were kids. Yep. I call them kids. Mm -hmm. You know, look like high school, college. So many of them I could tell were theater kids, mm -hmm. yeah, loving this. What sort of reaction do you get from the various ages and backgrounds and experiences of, of the audiences? I get a lot of the young adults and kids who come and see the show. I get a lot of messages on Instagram, fan mail, um, conversations at the stage door that are really these people opening up to me and saying, you're telling my story. I've never been represented on stage like this before. I feel seen, I feel validated, I feel heard. And that playing this role, that just means so much to me. And especially that these young adults can come and like have the courage to say that is just outstanding to me. And it's such like a refreshing thing. And it's so heartbreaking to see all of that. And yeah. so I'm very- but There's so many of them that need to see so, you. So need to see many. themselves in you. Yeah, I have, um, there was one girl who came up to me at the stage door and she was like really close to the barricade and she just grabbed my arms and she said, I'm gay. My mom is standing right behind me. I haven't told her yet. Oh this show, meant the world to me. Thank you for this. I don't know what to do now, but thank you. Mm. And like, I cried through both shows the next day because like, kids like that are seeing it and they're being heard. And that just, that's why we do this. Mm. Yeah. So like, that's the reaction that I get. And it's just, I, I can't even like fathom it. And I've said this before, but it, we know that the, the true value of the arts and theater is not only to entertain us, but to teach us. Yes. yes. Make us think, help us learn. And I think when you come, you walk away from the prom, you are going to be <laughs> magnificently entertained. Mm -hmm. And you're also going to say, OK, I get it now. Right. And, and we hope more and more people, for a lot of reasons, because we want yes. the show to stay Absolutely. and run for a long time. But the, the two of you are fabulous. Thank uh, the Thanks, The entire Chad. cast is fabulous. And Thank it, you. It's a pleasure to, to see the show and a pleasure to chat with you. Thank pleasure you so to be much. here. You, you both be well. Thanks. And a reminder for you, the prom now playing at the Longacre Theater. For more information, please visit us at metrofocus.org.